What's up guys? It's Sean with the Brothers Workshop. Uh, today we're going to be going over the tow mirrors that we installed in the shop truck. It's a 2014 Silverado. The mirrors are made by a manufacturer called Sipo. There's not a lot of information out there about what a good mirror is and what a good mirror isn't. Uh, who's a good brand and who isn't. So we're just going to go over uh, some pros and cons about the Sipos and then you guys can uh, you know, decipher whatever you'd like from that. So there's actually only about three things that we don't like about the uh, mirrors. One is that there's a piece of chrome, only one of them, one out of the four pieces that is extremely loose and can be taken off just by going like that. So. It shouldn't do that. They, uh, there's something wrong with with it. Um, doesn't fit just the way it should. None of the other pieces do that. Uh, they 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 secure pretty good. So, as we said in the other videos, there is an issue with bubbling on both of the spot mirrors and the tops. I'm not sure what that's caused by. If that's a manufacturer defect or if they're all like that. Please leave comments below if you have these mirrors, if they're all right. We tried to contact uh, SIPO directly, and they would not email us back. So we're not we're not really sure what's going on with these. And you know, it, it is a distraction when you're trailer and when you're back, but you can get used to it. it. Just takes a little bit of time. Finally, guys, the last thing I really noticed that was kind of interesting was when you go to close these, just this one. None of the others, or no, the other one does not do it, but it doesn't stop. It will go all the way in and touch the vehicle. So that's really honestly about all that we didn't like about them. The install process was a little difficult at first, but uh, once you get one side done and the other side comes pretty easily, Still need to wire the lights and the uh, the blinkers, but again, uh, there's not much information on how to do that, where to wire to. If you guys got any uh, comments on that, please share in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more DIY projects and interviews with the Brothers Workshop.